हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड अ डिस्कशन ऑन सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन एनिमल्स नाउ आफ्टर गेटिंग द कंसेप्ट हाउ सेक्स इज बीइंग डिटरमाइन इन एनिमल्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस पैटर्न the first one is sex link another one is sex influenced and the third one is sex limited inheritance so we'll see how this three inheritance pattern is different from each other and how many of the traits are getting controlled or following the, these kind of inheritance pattern so if you see sex inheritance so sex inheritance is broadly classified into three part that we have already uh, i have told you the first one is sex linked another one is sex limited and third one is sex influenced so here you can differentiate between these three that first sex linked trait it is getting controlled by allosome allosome means sex chromosome so the genes for sex linked traits are located on sex chromosome or allosome whereas the genes for sex limited as well as sex influenced traits they are located on autosome in the latter part of this uh, lecture we will be seeing how sex limited trait is controlled by genes located both on allosome and uh, autosome so as of now you just remember that sex linked trait is controlled by allosome whereas uh, the sex limited and sex influenced traits genes are present on autosome only now so what is sex inheritance to sex inheritance as the name suggests that something is related with the sex of individual so that is why it is called as sex linkage so sex linkage applies to genes that are located on sex chromosome and these genes are considered to be sex linked because the expression and inheritance pattern of these kind of traits are associated with the sex of animal that is the expression and inheritance pattern is different in males and females then most traits carried are present only on x chromosome we know we have already discussed that many of the genes they will be present on x chromosome and correspondingly on y chromosome there will not be such gene but now we know that there are few genes which are present on y chromosome also so the y chromosome is smaller you can see in this picture this is y chromosome this is x chromosome just a pictorial de depiction the y chromosome is smaller and so uh, having very few genes and because of their location on sex chromosome they are said to be sex linked trait so the uh, uh, now i am talking you about the sex linked inheritance so in sex link inheritance the genes are located on sex chromosome that is why it is called as sex linked traits now come to the particular x linked traits in sex linked uh, we know there are two sex chromosome x and y so first of all we'll see x linked inheritance so morgan in 1910 found a mutant white eyed male fly and showed a gene for eye color is located on x chromosome so first of all it was reported by mendel and he found that the wild type of uh, eye color in drosophila is actually uh, wild type is red one but he found the uh, white eyed mutant so when he found white eyed mutant he tried 
to get the inheritance pattern of those uh, that white eye now here you can see he took white eyed female and red eyed male when he crossed he got half red eyed female and half white eyed male so first he crossed white eyed male uh, female with white uh, red eyed male and he got half red eyed female and half white eyed males means all the males were white eyed whereas all the uh, females were red eyed now uh, apart from that uh, just uh, hold uh, this thing here only now here you can see the difference between y and x chromosome the y chromosome contain a uh, Hundred uh, seven uh, almost hundred genes around hundred genes, whereas X chromosome contain almost thousand to thousand five hundred genes. This is uh, the case of human only. I am talking human. Now coming to our original one, the when Mendel crossed uh, sorry Morgan crossed white-eyed female with red-eyed male, he found. all white eyed males and all red eyed females now what he did he did a reciprocal cross he did a reciprocal cross what is reciprocal cross now he changed the sex he took red eyed females and crossed with white eyed males now in this case what he found he found a half wild type half wild type that means half red animals but red animals there was one red female and one red male whereas he got half white eyed individuals in that also he got one white eyed female and one white eyed male now what i wanted to tell you you take one piece of paper and on that piece of paper you try to do this cross that i have depicted here in the pictorial form you just uh, write the genotype of these uh, individuals this both the crosses in, uh, first cross and then reciprocal cross and you try to find the result and from that result you try to substantiate whether this uh, red eyed uh, uh, sorry white mutant eye may be sex linked or not so morgan hypothesis was that the i color gene is located on x chromosome so and that hypothesis he confirmed it by the reciprocal cross and discovery of x link inheritance showed that result of reciprocal crosses are different and ratio differ between progeny of different sexes the gene involved is likely to be sex link so based on the result obtained of reciprocal crosses mendel concluded that these genes for eye color is located on x chromosome that is x like inherit now now what about x link don now the, uh, now we understood that x link inheritance is there y link inheritance is there now in x link inheritance also there are two type of inheritance or rather you can say three type of inheritance the first one is x link dominant inheritance x link dominated another one will be x link recessive inheritance and the last one will be x link co dominant inheritance but the important one is x link recessive inheritance here just for uh, sake of your understanding i have taken the example or uh, not only example but characteristic of x link dominant inheritance here in this case in x link dominant both males and female can display their trait or disorder by having only one copy of allele so we know about the dominant allele even one copy of dominant allele present it will express its traits so that is why either this one copy is present in male or female we know previously even if if recessive allele is there in male it will express because correspondingly there will not be any allele on y chromosome so even recessive allele will express in the males but recessive allele will not uh, express in 
female but if the allele is dominant it will express in both the sexes even if a single copy is present so example of this is hereditary nephritis in dogs incontinentia pigmenti in case of human so this is a example you just uh, here the actually heterozygote i have uh, means uh, i could found uh, the uh, picture where heterozygous has been shown with different color so you just uh, uh, on paper you try to do this cross and find out how this x link dominant is different from x link recessive so now coming to the x link coming to the x link recessive no uh, okay this is another one uh, what is this this is the pedigree chart so i hope you might be aware about the pedigree chart if you are not aware just for uh, means uh, i will just refresh you the round one indicate the female and the square one will indicate the male the round one indicate the female whereas the square one will indicate the male so here you can see that x link dominant female affected female when crossed with unaffected male how this inheritance will go on so again here based on this pedigree sheet you try to find out the genotype so many times in this uh, in your board examination or in many of the competitive examination in objectives you will get such kind of picture and you will be asked to find out the genotype of a particular individual from that picture so uh, i urge you to take a piece of paper draw this pedigree and try to find out the uh, genotype of each and every individual so that you can understand in better way how this x link dominant recessive and co dominant is getting transmitted from one generation to next generation now what are the characteristic of x link dominant inheritance so the characteristic is very clear it is more common in females obviously it will be more common in uh, but it will not be it will be equally affecting why it is telling that it is more common in female because in comparison to other uh, inheritance pattern this will be more common in female all female offspring of affected male will be affected it's right because only one copy is enough to tell that uh, enough to affect the individual if dam is normal suppose if dam is normal comma male progeny will not be affected with the disease it is obvious because if only x chromosome is getting uh, male is getting x chromosome from mother so if dam is normal there is no question of getting disease in male progeny so this is the characteristic of x link dominant inheritance now the most common one the x link recessive inheritance so in male on y chromosome we know there is no gene but there are few genes exceptions are there this is i am talking in general uh, it is considered that there are no gene on y chromosome and since females have only one x chromosome a single recessive allele on that x chromosome will cause the disease so uh, it is talking about male not about female so we know that uh, males having only a one x chromosome and even a single gene present on that x chromosome even in recessive condition it will express the disease that we have already discussed so now females have two x chromosome so two recessive alleles are required so here obviously these female they will be less affected in comparison to males so affected male affected male will never pass disease to their son why they will not pass the disease to son because male will contribute only y chromosome to their son 
they will not contribute x chromosome that is why they will not transmit the disease to their son similarly affected female pass the defective x chromosome to all their daughters so if male is affected it he will transmit all the affective x chromosome to their daughters and daughter will be obligate carrier if they are getting only one copy of their gene so in this context one important law is the nis law so what is nis law nis law is a simple they it is uh, telling the transmission of sex linked disease from affected male to male grandchildren affected male to male grandchildren through carrier daughters so if you see affected male to uh, affected male to male grandchildren here the male grandchildren through through carrier female so this is called as nis law so i hope the nis law is clear to you now female carrier pass defective x chromosome to half of their son half of the son because if female is carrier only half there are two x chromosome if one is affected only half of the, uh, their son will get that particular uh, x chromosome so they will be affected the x link recessive inheritance is having characteristic of criss cross inheritance criss cross means from father to daughter and from mother to son this is called as criss cross gene inheritance this is also following the skip a generation inheritance pattern skip a gener uh, generation inheritance pattern means male will not uh, transmit gene to imit its immediate next generation but that gene will be expressed in the uh, second generation so skip a generation if you will see uh, you try to find out uh, by uh, drawing or uh, by uh, taking a piece of paper you draw some pedigree and try to find out how the x linked inheritance uh, pattern is transmitting from one generation to next generation you will see this kind of pattern and which is called as skip a generation you will not get disease here uh, sorry you will not get disease here you will not get disease here but you will get disease here disease here and disease here so that is why it is called as a skip a generation pattern example of x link recessive inheritance are many you are studying this x link recessive inheritance from your plus 2 classes uh, common example is hemophilia color blindness canine muscular dystrophy etc so this is the pedigree here again you try to find out the genotype of each and every individual and you see how this genes uh, uh, this uh, genes affected genes are getting transmitted from one generation to next generation again this is the example of x linked recessive inheritance here color blindness uh, has been taken as a trait here you just uh, go through this sorry you go through this and you will find how the genes are getting transmitted from one generation to next generation and how the affected individuals in what proportion affected individuals will be there you will see both the means normal cross and reciprocal cross and you see how the results are getting changed in case of reciprocal cross so it is it is very simple you can uh, do by it, uh, yourself not only this example you can take many of the examples in practical classes you will learn uh to, to how this genes are getting transmitted from one generation to next generation so i am leaving this for your practical classes then what are the characteristic of x linked recessive inheritance the frequency is higher in heterogametic than homogametic sex so heterogametic male in case of uh, animals humans in case of birds opposite so it is higher in males we have already seen it is transmitted from affected sire through normal daughter and half of their uh, to half of their male grand progeny so we have already seen this cross or skip a generation inheritance that is 
the same thing it is uh, uh, written here in the form of word does not occur in female progeny unless the sire has it it will get only female progeny will get the disease only from its sire so if sire is normal female progeny are safe all the male progeny of the dam having this traits are affected so we have already seen that ki male progeny all the male progeny of the dam having this trait are affected if dam is affected male progeny will be affected definitely now the third one is the x link co dominant inheritance it is very uh miss uh, not that much important but uh, just see one example i have taken here in what is uh, we know uh, we have discussed about the lion hypothesis in last class so what is lion hypothesis in female one extra chromosome will get inactivated so once it is getting inactivated the uh, the sex chromosome the uh, female will be acting as male only because one x chromosome is getting inactivated so in total female will have only one x chromosome although they are having two but one is inactivated but before inactivation if the gene expressed directly within the cell the mosaic nature of female may be may become obvious so if the cell uh, x chromosome is not getting inactivated or it is expressed before inactivation in that case this x link co dominant inheritance pattern will be visible or obvious so here example is the tortoise cell rabbit uh, sorry uh, cat so here you can see the black male cat crossed with yellow female cat and they will be expressed in the ratio of one is to one tortoise cell female all the female will be tortoise cell and all the male will be yellow male so here you can see the genotype okay you on the, a piece of paper you draw and you find out uh, try to understand the difference between x link dominant x link co dominant and x link recessive inheritance so the next one is the y link inheritance so now we have covered the x link inheritance in that we have covered three kind of x link inheritance x link dominant inheritance x link recessive inheritance and x link co dominant inheritance now the another sex chromosome that is y chromosome so y link inheritance so we know that there are few genes which are present on y chromosome those genes are known as holentric genes so genes on of y chromosome would transmit directly so if you uh, see the genes present on y chromosome it will not go to the female because female don't have y chromosome so it will directly go to the males so if there is any affection on the genes present on y chromosome that affection will getting uh, will be getting transmitted from male to male it will not go to the female so example is hypertrichosis we know hypertrichosis means hair on pinna hair on ear pinna so many of the people you might be knowing those are having uh, hairs on their ear pinna webbed toe these are the two example there are other example also here you can see the pin uh, hair on the ear pinna so this is this pedigree you can see here affected male is transmitting the disease to male male then again in next generation transmitting to male and male so here also you can try to find the gene type of each and every individual and how the y link y link gene is getting transmitted from one generation to next generation another related term is the sex influence inheritance so first we saw the sex link inheritance now the sex influence inheritance as the name suggests the expression of the trait will have influence of sex so what is this sex influence trait these are actually autosomal traits so we have already seen in the first uh, slide itself these are actually autosomal traits that are influenced by sex of the bearer so they uh, the expression of this trait will depend on the sex of the bearer 
the bearer who is bearing this trait so these are genetically controlled traits that may appear in individual of both the sexes but is expressed to a different degree in each so the genes will be present on both the sexes but they will expression will depend on the sex of the individual so this uh, another way you can say that these traits are dominant in one sex but recessive in the another sex and why this difference is arising so there are many hypotheses behind that the one is that due to different cellular environment in male and female and that different cellular environment is provided by sex hormones so sex hormones is considered to be one of the cause then both homozygotes are unaffected and express their relevant irrelevant hormones so, but the thing is that if it is homozygous uh, we will see in the next slide only heterozygote will have different Ex- differential expression in both the sexes but homozygote irrespective of hormones present or irrespective of sex present they will be invariably they will be expressing their or uh, tr- uh, character in both the sexes or they they will express similar character in both the sexes you see this is the example baldness we know the baldness example of sex influence in it baldness in human so here you can see the genotype cap bb that is dominant genotype male it will become if this genotype coming in male it will become bald in female also it will become bald so here there is no influence of hormone but once the genotype is heterozygote capital b small b in male it will be bald but in case of female it will be non bald so heterozygote will have different expression in the different sex again homozygous recessive small b small b in male it will be not bald female also not bald so here you can see the only heterozygote will have differential expression and this differential expression is influenced by sex of the bear similarly in case of animal if you see the example in case of animal the color coat color in earth hair cattle so in earth hair cattle you will see the coat color mahogany and red and mahogany and red appearance of mahogany and red will depend on the sex of the individual in case of heterozygote so if it is homozygote dominant capital m capital m it will be mahogany but if it is heterozygote you can see the mahogany in case of male in female it will be red and if it is recessive in both the sexes it will be red similarly one more example i will say uh, i will cite one more example here in case of sheep so horn condition is sheep so in if it is dominant if it is dominant the male and female both will be horned if it is heterozygote the female will be polled and male will be horned polled means hornless similarly if it is uh, homozygous recessive both the sexes will have polled condition or hornless condition so with this the sex influence inheritance is completed and i hope you can differentiate between sex influenced and sex linked traits easily now the last one is sex limited inheritance sex limited that the name suggest it is limited to a particular sex so these are controlled by genes present on autosome but their expression is limited to only one sex the genes pre- are present on autosome but now it is considered means uh, uh, it is considered that genes may also be present on sex chromosome so for sex limited inheritance genes may be present on sex chromosome or autosome this trait may also be inherited on sex chromosome i already told now what are the examples examples you can easily tell that a gene affecting male production will not have an effect in male however male can carry and pass on the trait so although gene will be present on the male it is not that genes will be absent in on, in the male but female will only produce milk if they are having that particular gene so this is sex link uh, sex limited inheritance egg production in poultry in female only there will be egg production not in male then plumage pattern in the poultry in plumage pattern you can see the male are having different plumage and female are having different plumage i will show you one diagram in the next slide 
and you will see the plumage pattern this is plumage pattern you can see the hen feather hen feather hen feather hen feather cock feather hen feather so here you can see the effect of sex so in male this recessive gene will create the recessive genotype will form the cock feather whereas in female it will always be hen feather it will always be hen feather so this is the example of sex limited inheritance the plumage pattern in the poultry so hen will always that is female poultry will always have hen feather but in case of male it can be changed other examples it is very easy the milk production egg production or beard etc you know so this is the pedigree diagram of sex limited trait here you can see the female will always transmit it to the female only not to or any other sex it will transmit the gene but it will not get expressed in other sexes now now that summary so in summary you can say that sex link inheritance the genes will be present either on x chromosome or y chromosome whereas in case of sex limited trait the trait will be expressed either or means all or none either it will be present in a sex or it will not be present in a sex and the genes will be present on both the autosome and heterosome autosome or allosome autosome or sex chromosome in sex influence trait the sex influence trait the genotype plus sex of the bearer will determine the phenotype so this is how we can differentiate between different uh, sex linked sex influenced and sex uh, limited traits i hope you know the difference between these traits now and you will be able to write in your examination the proper example and the inheritance pattern if you will get in your practical examination you will practice and you will uh, solve many of the question in your practical examination so in this way i completed uh, the topic discussion on sex links sex influenced and sex limited traits in the next class we will see something else thank you thank you very much